And we're back. Detection. Taken down. All right, let's keep going. Ryanford Metal. Like, I'm not sure how useful, like, a few extra stat points is going to be. All right, let's keep going. Dead end? Maybe not. We walked past a ladder not too long ago. Let's go back and find it. Ha! I completely ran past this ladder. <laughs> yep, this is the one. Climbing this should take. <clears throat> what was that? I heard a rumbling. Was there a cave in somewhere? Nothing's gonna collapse in here, is it? Yeah. Looks like it came from somewhere farther off. Hello, Green here. Damn. Green, can you hear me? I've hit a little snag here. Crow, what happened? Well, I've managed to get the miners back all right, but as I was coming back, there was this cave in. I hate to say it, but it caught me totally off guard. The route we took in from the passage is totally blocked now. So it was a cave in after all. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm okay. No, a little dusty. It was a close one. But I can't get to you, and you guys won't be able to come back the same way from where you are. I'm trying to find another route to get to you. Just hang tight, okay? We will. And be careful. Was that Crow? I heard you mention a cave-in. What happened? That sound we just heard was a cave-in. And it happened right along the route we took in here. Crow's okay, but he doesn't know if he'll be able to find another way to get to where we are. That's unfortunate. And it means our exit point is cut off, too. Looks like there's no turning back now. Let's keep going. I'm with you all the way. We're not leaving until we find those miners. Yeah. Super speed miner finding. <laughs> Spike. Advantage is ours. Let's finish him. All right, let's keep going. Oh, that's right. I gotta. I gotta switch Maki as his ports now. Yeah, sure. We'll wait here. Bring it on. Here we go. Go. Nope. Okay. Got it. Got it. That one, all right. See, you make a great team. <laughs> Super speed bouncy fee is crazy. <laughs>
Burn down. Let's go. There we go. Almost there. Just a little. All right. On the other side of that door is the central control room. That's where the other hostages are being held. With any luck, the terrorists won't see us coming. They haven't come out to stop us directly, so I don't think they know we're here. Ensuring the safety of the hostages should be our top priority. Right. We need to be cautious now, more than ever. Hello? Green here. It's me, George. Is it safe to talk now? George! I just got off the line with Toa. She said she wants to talk to you directly, so I'm going to patch her call into your Arcus. The signal quality's not gonna be too hot, so just put your Arcus in speaker mode and bear with me for a minute. Understood. And speaker mode on. Are you all okay? President Herschel! Yeah, we're still alive and kicking. Angie! I'm so relieved you're safe. I've been worried sick about all of you, especially when I heard Crow was caught up in that cave-in. If I'd known something like this was going to happen, I would have come to ruin myself. It's all right. I'm glad you got in touch with us. We really appreciate everything you're doing. Anyway, it sounds like Crow's fine, so we don't have to worry about it. Really? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh, right. I called you because I just turned up some new info. It sounds like His Majesty the Emperor has given the Railway Military Police official clearance to investigate the mine. They had to take it all the way to the top? Yep, and there's no way the Provincial Army can bluster their way past that. I bet the Railway Military Police will be busting in any moment now. Well, that's some good news at least, but even so, we need to press our advantage and keep heading deeper into the mine. This is our chance. We can use the confusion the RMP will cause to rescue the hostages. But even if they do step in, I can see the Provincial Army still trying to get in the way. Yeah, so the sooner we act, the better chance we have of getting to those miners and getting them out safely. Okay, but be careful, everyone. And if you feel like it's too dangerous, you get out of there quick, okay? Don't try to do anything too reckless. That goes double for you two, Reen and Angie. Me? Reckless? Yes, you reckless. <laughs> Looks like she's got her number. Don't worry. I promise we'll come back in one piece. Okay, you promised. I'll be waiting for you back at the Academy. So, um, I'm gonna pass you back to George now. Well, that's about how things stand right now. And my fingers crossed that Adios is looking after you. Good luck, guys. Roger. Just leave it to us. You <laughs> 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 just got a pep talk. Yeah. Though, we wouldn't have made it this far without Crow, George, and Toa. And Angelica, too. It all comes down to this. <laughs> Let's make them proud. Right. <laughs> I'm ready to finish this in style. Big style. Let's go. Watch out, guys. Here we go. Style, flash, and flare. Let's go. Let's all do right. this. Let's keep going. you kids would turn up again you just don't know when to quit you're V aren't you so he was waiting for us <laughs> so you're those terrorists huh seems like you've known we were here for quite a while now oh we weren't really counting on the provincial army's blockade to hold up if the RMP manages to get through we're ready to lay them out in fact I was counting on it but me and my crew will be more than enough to bury you here. We'll see about that. Don't underestimate him. He's even stronger than he looks. We were able to beat him back at Gorelia Fortress because Instructor Nightheart was with us. But if he hadn't been there... Now I remember. Are you a survivor of the Arngarm Jaeger Corps? Arngarm Jaeger. Surprised you heard of it, Sylphid. It was long gone by the time you started making a name for yourself. I heard about it from the boss. He mentioned he'd faced you guys on the battlefield a few times. Said you were worthy opponents. <laughs> I'm honored that the Jaeger King himself would tip his hat to us. It's a little late, but you've got my condolences. He was one hell of a man. Thanks. What are you guys trying to do here? Even if you are cooperating with the noble faction, it's not like you both share the same ideals. And if anything were to happen...
happened to this mine, the whole country would be in trouble. <laughs> we know. But I'll do whatever it takes to slaughter that iron-blooded shit stain and let him twist in the wind. <sighs> but why? Why do you hate Chancellor Osborne so much? Kid, I could give you my life story, but I doubt you understand even that. You have no idea how many have been driven from their homes thanks to his reforms. How many folks have lost everything they had because of him. Well... Victims of the Chancellor's expansionist policies, huh? Well, we ain't all pressed from a mold. We got different reasons for being here. Gideon hated him for his ideology, and Scarlet. I heard she lost her old hometown when he went and built a railway through it. So that's it. So that's what drove her to terrorism. Me? Let's just say I've got a misplaced grudge against the guy. Not that I've got any intention of repenting for it now. Like Silphid said, I ran with a corps called Arngarm. Led it, actually. Just a medium-sized outfit. Nothing too grand. We took decent-sized jobs, did them well, and pulled in solid business. That was life for us. Sure, we might have gotten a little too fired up when we were facing down dangerous enemies, but it wasn't all rough going. Whenever we had a bunch of new folks join up, we'd take one easy job after another. I thought that was just gonna be another one of those laid-back missions. Back when Osborne got his seat as the Chancellor, the noble faction hired us to give him a little scare. That was all. He was a commoner who came up through the military, chosen by the Emperor. Guess they just wanted to show him who was born, but he saw right through their plan. Can't really call what happened to fight. It's more like a massacre. They didn't even give us a chance to surrender. Just gunned us all down in cold blood. Young boys who've just been with us for a couple weeks. Women. Everyone. I was all that was left. Surrounded on every side by my comrades' bodies, I was the only one to come crawling back out of that hell. I wandered a while. Didn't know what to do with myself. Eventually, I ended up finding my way to the Imperial Liberation Front. No high ideals here. I just wanted to kill him. To gut that son of a bitch. Avenge my friends, and tear apart everything he spent his life trying so hard to build. So that's what happened to Arngarm. <clears throat> it's a sad story for sure. Look, I can sympathize with what you went through, but that doesn't mean the Chancellor was wrong in doing what he did. Yeah, it sounds kind of heartless to say, but... I'll say it. Terrorists need to be handled with an iron fist. Their fate should discourage others from following their lead. You ain't strayed for mercy, are you? Can't deny what you're saying, but this ain't about who's right and wrong. Maybe it never was. That bastard loves to fuel the flames of progress. One way or another, we've all been burned. What's left for sad sacks like us? I'll tell you what. We'll fan our own flames. Make them so big and so wild, they'll burn up even blood and iron. What a badass line. Now then, you came all this way. Might as well show me what you got. Just remember, you're the ones who keep jumping into the fire. Don't blame me when all that's left are ashes. Here he comes. Everyone, brace yourselves. We're counting on you, Angelica. Sure thing. Let's do this. Come on, Jelly. Throw them hands. <laughs> Throw them hands, run <laughs> them paws. Fade away. Here we go. Start with a nice these chunk of damage. My turn. One, two, three. <laughs> right. Let's go. Here we go. All right. Be full of holes when I'm done. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Got it.
Kids hit harder than I expected. Yeah. We got Reen with us. The Reen Mean Machine. He's the greatest. Mm. Mean Reen Machine. This fight is over. Release the miners! 
<laughs> that was always part of the plan. But I don't like your attitude. You don't get to call the shots here. What? No way! How are they still standing? That's one mean vibe I'm getting from him. Even among Jaegers, only the strongest warriors give off an aura like that. Do not despair, Conrad. This simply goes to show how much they've grown since our first meeting. See! So this is the guy, huh? This is the first time I've actually seen him. Conrad S. has already boarded the ocean. I shall buy you the time to join him. <laughs> Fine. Chalk this one up as my loss. But next time... Oh, next time, we'll have some real fun! Sorry, Comrade C. We'll wait up for you. <clears throat> Last time. He doesn't let his guard down even for a second. But why the mask? Who are you, anyway? All the other ringleaders show their faces without a care in the world, but not you. Why is that? <laughs> you have to forgive me. I'm afraid I'm a shy sort. Or are you so enamored of the mask that you intend to take it from me by force? It would be quite a coup, especially for the daughter of Marcus Robner. <sighs> Don't let your focus waver. If we want to walk away from this, we can't let up, even for a moment. <laughs> I wasn't planning on letting up. There's no way he can take all of us at once! Agreed. Even Instructor Sarah couldn't pull off a feat like that. Hmm. The odds do seem stacked against me, so I hope you'll permit me to even them ever so slightly. <gasps> what? Two archaisms! Were they there all along? It was the height of summer when we last crossed flames in the time. Do you think you can prevail now or before you fell short? Tell me the The steel! Show me your strength, your will. Oh, Give it up, everyone! My turn. One. My turn! This looks bad. Listen to the Thanks! My turn. One. Go! Burn! I will go! Right! Let's go! Okay. <gasps> My turn! Park is activated! <laughs> No! Go. I don't think we're supposed to be able to win this battle. My turn. Go. I will go. My turn. Careless. I 
Double darkness. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, we are supposed to be. We are supposed to win that battle. Oh shit! Show me your strength. Go. Impede with anything. No, he cannot. Hmm. Probably yeah, yeah. See? <clears throat> Can he be burned? Right. 
my turn. One. I will help you. Marcus, activate. Huh? Here we go. All right, B. the skill I want to use. What? Not here. Here we go. That's a chance. No. I'm sorry. Not here. Let's go. This looks bad. Everybody has that figure right. now. Right. Listen to Thanks. I will help you. 
Well, that's a bit annoying. Focus activate. Thanks. She's done. Okay. One. Right. Give it up. My turn. Bye -bye. Your turn. Right. Right. Thanks. Okay. One. I will help this. My turn. Here we go. All right. Let's do My turn. One. Got it. Got it. My turn. Blinded? Nope. One. Got it. Got it. Uh, you okay? <laughs> I can do this. Go. My turn. Uh, One. 
can do this. I just can't stay grouped up like I was. Light. I will go this. My turn. How about that? All right, let's do this. Park is activated. One. Got it. Go. Rush him down. Right. Here we go. Stop, go. Okay. Here. Go. Second. Ah, no. uh, that's a bit annoying. Rush your sense. I don't have the freaking. Have the right master quartz on anybody at the moment. All right. I will go. My turn. Here we go. All right. Let's Let's do this. this. Okay. One. Come on, bro. Give herself a heavenly gift. Focus activate. Okay. I literally just freaking walked them to die. My turn. All right. My turn. Focus activate. Thanks. I was careless. Right. I need a bigger, bigger res. Thanks. My turn. My turn. Oh, 
My turn. Here we go. Uh, uh, no. My turn. Here we go. My turn. Okay. One. Activate. Gotta get him away from Elisa. Here we go. Okay. Right. Harkus activate. Go. All right. My turn. Ha. This looks bad. Listen to me. I'll handle it. Here we go. Got it. Go. Go. It's my turn. Okay. What's his faint? Faint fifty percent. My turn. Keep it up, everyone. My turn. I can do this. How did that hit everybody? Like, My what turn. is the rage on that? Thanks. Right. Thanks. Range is obnoxious. Right. Thanks. It's my turn. Okay. My turn. Listen to me. Thanks. Go. I can do this. Fire. My turn. Got it. Go. My turn. I can do this. Light. Too slow. My turn. My turn. Okay. 
Here we go. Another chance. My turn. Now. I got you. Right. Oh no, you don't. Take this. Your turn. My turn. Go. 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 Let's go. Everybody. Got him. I don't know if this will actually finish him off, but we're gonna. Perhaps I underestimated. That's the power of the eight leaves. I did it! Nicely done. <laughs> I did it! Success! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Most impressive. <sighs> How do you like that? Just paying back what we owe from the summer festival. Now hurry up and release the miners. The miners are being held in the area above us. They've been bound, but their lives are in no danger. Are you telling the truth? That does match what the other guy said. Well then, with that cleared up, let's talk about you, shall we? I hope you're not thinking you're just gonna walk out of here after everything you've done. <laughs> I'm afraid that's exactly what I'm thinking. Watch out! It's a faint! <gasps> Damn it! Too late. Ah! Ah! Oh, help us! Don't freak out! It's just to disorient us! Shit! Flash grenades! Where did he go? <clears throat> uh, he, he's gone. <sighs> How could we have dropped the ball like that? We had him right there. <clears throat> he's just always ten steps ahead of did us. Did he go to rejoin the others? <sighs> that doesn't add up. It feels like he headed downward somehow. But I can't even see the bottom of that shaft, so where... What's that sound? That's the airship we saw at Gorelia Fortress. Looks like Reinford's high-speed RF-26 model. So the Liberation Front has expensive taste in airships. What is going on here? It's the terrorists. Take aim and fire! Yes, yes ma'am! You have no right to open fire here! We have all the right of the Emperor, you fuck. Men, stop them at once! Yes, yes sir! What do you think you're doing? My, my. What a pathetic spectacle. Like, we have orders from the Emperor. We have full reign here. You guys have nothing now. And the Chancellor has sent his loyal lapdog to bark us up a tree, too. Go on and scurry back to your master, Icy Maiden, and tell him this. Our preparations are complete. Next time we strike, he shall be the one in the crosshairs. <gasps> ah! They're getting away! Damn! Farewell for now. You failed, but at least you can say you try. And to you students, the next time our paths cross, you. Huh? What was that? It couldn't be. Let's just blow up that whole freaking airship and send it tumbling. Oh! What the hell? What just happened? Did it self-destruct? I can't see it. They don't seem the type for wanton self-sacrifice. Did one of the RMP's bullets find its mark? I don't know what caused it, but by the looks of that explosion, I'm guessing we won't find any survivors in the wreckage. What is the meaning of this? 
<laughs> Terrorists or not, that doesn't excuse shooting down their airship without even offering a chance to surrender! Please, calm down. There's no evidence to suggest the explosion was caused by our gunfire. In fact, given the magnitude of the blast, I suspect that some sort of explosive was planted on the airship. Right now, let's prioritize rescuing the miners, then begin a full investigation into exactly what happened here. You have the nerve to suggest... We have written permission from His Majesty the Emperor himself. Or are you telling me you intend to ignore that and hound us every step of the way? Ugh, don't get all full of yourself just because of one little sheet of paper. A and who the hell are you meddling kids? Are you students? What business do you have on restricted property? Whatever excuse you have better be nothing short of brilliant, or you're in for a world of trouble! Well, crap. You're in the hot seat now. Are you kidding me? Listen, you're misunderstanding something. They're here because I asked them to accompany me. Angelica? And who the hell are you? La -la. La -la. Lady Angelica? Hey, it's Lady Angelica. I heard she was back, but this isn't really the place you expect to meet a Marquis's daughter. Ha. Long time no see, guys. Huh. I see a couple of faces I recognize under those fancy helmets. Maybe I should have tried the front entrance first, after all. It would have given me an easy chance to ask some of the pressing questions I've got about this whole affair. Like, you know, why you let terrorists have the run of the place while barring entry to law enforcement officials, maybe? Uh-oh. This isn't looking good. No, it's not. Remain calm! We were acting under the direct orders of the Marquis himself. He expressly commanded us not to let these insolent fools trespass in his territory. Oh? Well, the Marquis must be quite the sly businessman. To acquire ownership of a mine, I wasn't aware we were selling. What? I recognize that voice. How could he be? Prince Oliver! Nice timing. Crow! George! Thank goodness you're all right. Yeah, glad to see you guys <coughs> safe too. I heard things took a wild turn. You can say that again. I sure wouldn't have guessed at this outcome anyway. So that's the last of the terrorist airships accounted for then? All that we know of, at any rate. We'll need a more detailed examination of the wreckage to say for sure. Hmm. an honor to receive a visit from you, your high- It's enough out of you. We have more important matters to attend to right now. <laughs> First, I feel it necessary to emphasize that I personally stand behind these students' course of action. I trust you have no objections? N none at all, your highness. Damn right, none at all, your highness. <gasps> your highness, <clears throat> saved! Secondly, I'll be assuming command here as a representative of the Arner family, owners of this mine. And as my first directive, I demand that the provincial army depart at once. The railway military police will remain on the scene under my command to assist with my investigation. Yes, your highness. Y yes your highness! You heard the prince! We're moving out! Yeah, get out of here. After all the peril, the situation was resolved with surprising speed. The railway military <coughs> police fulfilled their duties under the command of Prince Olivert. So he is just too powerful. I wonder who the hell he is. The remaining archaisms were disposed of, and the miners were rescued without significant injury. Like, he's always just like freaking three steps ahead of us, or more. But the implications of what had just happened were profound. The news was likely already beginning to spread. It was obvious that the provincial army had given their tacit approval to the terrorists' actions, and the terrorists had destroyed all evidence that the noble faction had been dumping iron onto the black market. But even lacking concrete evidence, their guilt seemed clear. And Prince Oliver declared he'd be conducting a thorough investigation with the full support of Chairman Irina. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you.
afterwards. <laughs> yeah, that was a tough fight. I wish I would have actually freaking had. This must be it. I wish I would have had my actual master quartz on so that freaking Alisa would have been able to res herself a couple of times just in case due to the freaking nonsense that was his S-Craft. No maker's trademark. No proprietary parts I could use to identify it. Not that I expected to find any. From all appearances, it seems to be a long-range anti-material sniper rifle. I see. At least it wasn't a Reinford model. That's correct. I suspect this is yet another of that workshop's products. Who are you, Sharon? <laughs> Their handicrafts do seem to be in vogue these days, especially with the Red Constellation. Indeed, but this is no laughing matter. And while I have you here, Miss Kruger, I've been hoping for the opportunity to have a little chat with you for quite some time now. Exactly how much involvement does your employer have in all of this? <laughs> Might I ask to which of them you're referring? <laughs> Let's go with both of them. My apologies. It seems we didn't clear this area as thoroughly as I thought. Lady Claire. It's an honor to see the famous Icy Maiden in action. You're quite the sight yourself. I see now why they call you the Severing Chains. <laughs> it was nothing. But to answer your earlier question, Chairman Arena has no involvement whatsoever. That said, I'm certain she'll leverage the current goings on to her advantage as much as she's able. I'd expect no less. As for the other, I expect they're simply playing around. At least for now. Who are you, Sharon? Ooh, you're moving up in the world. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Drinks are on me someday. Good showing, everyone. I must have missed some. I didn't mean to click. Okay, I, meant, I did mean to click save. But we're going to call the video here. Ah, splendid game. Splendid stuff. And we just have so many questions and scarce few answers. But next time, we'll get some answers, hopefully. Until then...